Hey, Scrapper friends, it's Nicole, and welcome to week 23 of our Theme Park Thursday series. Uh, today we have a single page layout uh, featuring pictures of myself and my daughters on the People Mover, which is a slow moving ride in Tomorrowland. And I got to use some more of Out of This World, and I ended up using much more of the stickers and more of the different papers than I thought I was going to do. So follow along with me as I do this quick, simple, versatile layout. All right, so the, um, the next layout is the People Mover, which is right next to Buzz Lightyear. If you remember last week, we did the Buzz Lightyear page, which if, you're, if you've come back to me after the hot mess of last week when I was trying to do that folded border, thank you. Thank you for giving me a little bit of grace and uh, laughing with me and not at me. Um, but I knew I wanted to use this paper when, last week when I pulled out the um, this paper pack out of this world for Buzz Lightyear. I knew I wanted to use this for the People Mover. I like the motion that this gives. It comes in the blue and in the orange yellow. I, I, I like this, but not for this. This is too much. This is We're going to do the blue, although I may do something with the yellow. I'm still kind of thinking about it. Um, and I was thinking I might want to use the square punch somehow because I have a bunch of smaller pictures, although I don't think this is going to work. You know, that one needs to be bigger. So I don't know. I don't, maybe I won't use the square punch. I'm just kind of in the thinking about it process. I do love this one with the galaxy. Maybe I like that one that one with this or that one like this I don't know once again I'm not going to be using a Pinterest sketch or anything to inspire me I think I'm just going to um, play with my pictures I have a selfie I took where we had the whole car set of four little cubicles to ourselves this one the girls took of me and that one I took of them so these at least these two possibly this one and then these all can be cut kind of smaller. They're just scenes along the ride. I don't need two of Tron. I kind of like this one because Katie's looking at it. This is before Tron opened. But this is a better shot of Tron. So I'm thinking like this could be like at the bottom and these could be at the top. I'm going to cut that down. And then maybe something like that's what that's what I was kind of thinking about the squares. Like I could do the squares in the middle. I think I want the good Tron. And maybe we do. Maybe we do put the I don't know. Maybe I don't want squares. Maybe I want rectangles. Um like two by three rectangles. Oh, that would have worked really well in this little square. I think I'll do that. I can trim this one down. I can trim that one down a lot. I could, this one, I, I mean, I like to keep both of these. This is one of my favorite little scenes in this ride, this little hair salon where you show what's happening to her hair in there. I hope that's not the future, that we have to go through that. Um, and this one's I can cut because I've got a lot of um, ceiling. So let me grab my trimmer and we'll we'll trim these down and then see what's going to happen next. All right. So, you know, sometimes when we scrapbook lately, when you do start with a sketch, you don't um, you don't trim your photos until you've built your layout. So this is kind of a little bit more old school to crop your photos first. But I do already have a plan for what I'm going to do. And this is a three and a half, so I think, I may cut this to be a three. Yeah, I don't really wanna cut off too much of my poncho. That was a huge part of our story. But I'll do a three and a half inch square. And then the girls, I don't think I'm gonna cut them down to three and a half, but I don't need all of this either. We'll do a four and a half. Three and a half and a four and a half will be up here at the top. And then this one at the bottom, I can also cut that to three and a half without losing too much of what I want to show. This one I'm gonna cut quite a bit. It's gonna be a three by four and a half. I don't know if that one's gonna fit. I may have to trim that one down a little bit more or trim this one a little bit. And then these, I think I am going to cut them to two by, hmm, let's see if we can cut this down to a three. 
can cut that down to a three. I'm gonna cut that, oh, keep her little hands and trim it that way. This is not gonna be a two by three. Well, maybe it will. Maybe I'll do a two. I'll just cut this side off right there. Got a two by three. Not really centered, but. Cut these all into two by threes. They'll just kind of be in the middle right here. This is a lot of big black space at the top, so I'm glad to cut that off. And then we'll cut this to two. All right, already I'm thinking I'm gonna to need to add something else to this page to make it um, to give it a little bit of interest. You can't, I can't just have the pictures just lined up. It's gonna need something, we'll have to do something fun. And you know, maybe I should use that ribbon wave um, punch that I used last week and put that in here and that can also kind of give some continuity to the both of the uh, both of the layouts oh maybe i need to well i don't really want to cut anything it's too bad that this didn't all line up the same i could cut that right there i could move this oh i cut that one i shouldn't have cropped that one first yeah fooey on old school um well, maybe I'll just do it like this. And I will cut some of that off to make, well, maybe I'll cut some of this off to make it square-ish, even though that's not gonna fit. Uh, I wonder if I could piece it back together. Have you ever done that? You ever pieced your pictures back together? I don't even know where the pictures are, or the pieces are anymore. This was mine right there. I could just piece that back together. Nobody would ever know. We're gonna do some welding. I've talked to you guys about welding before. We're gonna do it on this picture that I just cut apart so that I can get the size I need so that it doesn't, um, it doesn't ruin my layout. So yet another lesson I need to learn is to not, um, not crop first. And then I'll just snip this little edge off. And you know, you can still see that I cut it, but hopefully nobody will notice once I've got that in there. I'm going to trim a little bit of it still off, but I, I'll, I don't know how much. And I'll trim a little bit of this one still off so that I have a, a square. You know, it's not a square, it's more of a rectangle. So then if I use the this paper for the base and then what if I used this oh no 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 I don't think I can use that under oh like use this under here and then put it on top of this maybe or maybe I should do it the other way and do the papers on here and then put this around, and maybe then I could use some orange. I'll use that orange cheese, leftover orange cheese. But I kind of think that the, the pictures pop a little bit better on the yellow, which surprised me. I didn't think I would want that yellow, and I don't want a, a huge um, lot of space in it, but I think... I think it is going to be this. I think I'm going to put my pictures on here, arrange them, trim this down, and then mat it on the blue. Although I do like the oh, constellations too. Darn it. I hate it when I like both sides of a paper. All right. So I'm going to start with these middle pieces. Actually, what order are we going? We go through Buzz Lightyear first, I think, and then her, and then the city, of, no, then the castle, and then the city of tomorrow. Not that anybody's going to care. I want about an eighth of an inch gap. That one I'm going to trim. This one I'm going to trim. Oh, maybe I need to trim both of them. 
because this kind of, well, it doesn't quite fit right in there, so that's okay. It doesn't have to line up. The insides don't have to line up. Hold it like that. That one, I mean, I don't care about seeing all this sidewalk. I kind of care about having that. Can I trim it down to three inches? I think I can, and I'll just show the empty cars behind us. Okay, so three inches. Do that. And I think what I'll do is stick this one down first. And I'm just going to eyeball it, which is a little hard because of the different um, colors in the paper. I'm not going to stick this one down yet because I need to put these down to get the size. Let's line this up. Oh, I think it would be nice to use that leftover cheese paper. And I know it's probably not cheese, but it, you know, the whole thing about the moon is made of green cheese, whatever, it's orange cheese, but to me, it just looks like cheddar cheese, but Swiss cheese, so I don't know what it is. I'm sorry if it's not called cheese paper to whoever the, the designer was at Creative Memories that made this paper that was not supposed to be cheese. Okay, so now I want this to line up with this edge. I'm gonna take a pencil and I'm just gonna mark right here. This is kind of like if you've ever seen my, my video where I did a, a, a collage page, a color block, and I'll just get that lined up in there. I gotta find it in the, actually I'll do it this way so I can have the, um, have the, that's a lot longer than I was doing it before. Interesting. My other one was gonna just be right here Oh, I didn't have it lined up right. Okay, so I'm glad I did that. So now I've got a line I can actually see. So I'll come on here and trim that guy off. And then that will go right there. Oh, I can go a little bit farther even. And I think that's all right. And the tape didn't really want to stick to the top of that patch, that welding patch. I probably should have used paper instead of a scrap of picture but right now I feel like this is not straight up here which means none of these are straight so now I've got to just line up my corners again that one's all right You could do this with the ruler. I have done it with the ruler, but usually I can eyeball it pretty well. All right, and then this one, and this one. I think I'm gonna cut this guy off at this pillar makes that four inches. Well, so now it's kind of goes in that way. But now I'm thinking maybe I don't want to use that same ribbon wave because that's going to be a bit much. And then the same thing, I want to line this up so that I have the right spacing here. And then I'll put this here, although it's going to be easier for me to do it on this end and I cut all right so I don't love that these lines are not the same I either like them to be very specifically off-center. These are just kind of barely off-center, but it doesn't matter. It's fine. These lines, I have these straight lines to give it some consistency and make it not feel so busy on the eye. All right, so let me get my 12-inch trimmer to cut this. 
And as always, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. I want it a little bit more than an eighth of an inch. Usually if I want an eighth of an inch, I kind of put the edge of my picture along the gray line. I'm going to move it out a little bit. It's not quite a quarter of an inch. That's a little bigger than I wanted. Yeah, that's still a little bit bigger. So we're just... Okay. And this one... Actually, with this one, if I can see the edge of the picture right there, then that was about the thickness that I wanted. All right, so now let's grab the base paper and see if I actually go with the stripe that I thought I wanted or if I go with the constellation because now I kind of like this constellation. And this is going to be a left-hand side uh, layout. And I have those orange letters, which, you know, I used last time. You know, as I've looked again at last week's layout, I don't love the way the, the letters came out. I may end up doing something different with that down the line. Um, I'll, I'll show it to you at some point if I decide to do that. I think I need something along this edge. But what is that that I want along this edge? Kind of want something kind of a zigzag. I don't think I want to center this. I want to be, have it be over on the side. Oh, what about the stickers? I know there are stickers that went with this. Um, I don't love the stickers to Out of This World because they're kind of kitty. But let me see. There might be something in the, in the border stickers that will work. So here are the stickers. The stickers. I mean, I like the little planets. And the little astronauts. Oh, I could maybe use the astronauts. Not the cat and dog, but they're so cute. I could use the arrows. This one I love, this little constellation-y thing. That could go, maybe I'll put that along these two edges. Or the stars and the colors, that would tie those two together. I mean, this is calling me, but I don't know. Too, like the astronauts. Maybe I'll use the astronauts after all. And maybe I'll use light speed ahead. Yeah, the, I, I love this collection, but I think the, the word stickers are so specific and appetite like a black hole. I mean, that's a kind of a kid thing. Adventure awaits. I could use that one out of this world. I could use that one. Um, oh, Do we need to have this on the outside? Do we need to have a little bit of that? Um, got some pen on this paper, I don't know how. So do we need to have this be a little border around the outside too? And then we could go in a bit. That seems like a lot. Because then I wouldn't be able to move this down as much, but I could use that. Okay, because I have this extra piece, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Um, I'm just gonna cut real thin. Yeah, maybe, oh. the, I mean, the thickness I know how to cut best is, is, an, is an eighth of an inch. Is that too thin? No, yeah, that'll work. So eighth of an inch is the line that's closest to the logo with this one on mine is a number one. I'm actually probably close to needing to flip my mat. Um, that if you put it on the, Second line, this is gonna be a super thin, this is gonna be less than an eighth of an inch, I think. Oh boy. Oh well, we're gonna try it. When you're cutting something super thin like this, you wanna make sure that you hold this paper very firmly and butt it up against one of the little lips. I don't care which one, it can be the top one or the bottom one, but then you cut in the direction of the one you're resting against. So that way, if the paper wiggles at all, it, it gets pushed straighter and not more crooked. My little mat keeps wanting to jump out too. And for some reason, as I'm cutting this, I'm noticing it doesn't look straight on this side. It looks a little bit off, but I, I don't wanna, um, 
I don't know where the mistake is, so I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> I think these are looking like they're even, so this piece I might have cut crooked when I was cutting it off, and I just want these to all be the same. All right, so there's my tiny little strips. Those are about an eighth of an inch. And so we're going to use the trick I've talked about before with the um, repositionable adhesive when you're putting little thin strips down. So we're going to use this silicone mat. And I'm going to use my repositionable tape runner. And the repositionable is just made of little dots. And so I probably could do, I wonder if I could do all of these. I don't know if I can do all four of them. The repositional is about three eighths of an inch wide, and this is, you know, three one eighth inch pieces. So I'm just gonna do two. But by putting two together, rather than using my repositionable just on one, at least I'm getting, um, you know, I'm, I'm not, I, I feel like I'm not wasting as much because it would be just as much adhesive to do each one of these individually. So I'm gonna do those two. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put the adhesive on all of them. Be sure to put the adhesive on the side you don't want to show, which for me is this little blue stitching. Let's do that. And so you couldn't do this with the regular adhesive because it would, um, then you'd have to trim it. But because this is just the little dots, now I can just Pull these pieces apart and they all have adhesive on them. So I'm just going to carefully kind of go around the edge right up against the outside edge. And this gives you that same look as, you know, if you were to cut your photo, cut your paper and mount it on a larger paper, which I could have done, you know, now that I see what size this is, I could have cut that from the middle and then trimmed this down a quarter inch on two sides and um, layered it that way but this works too and I just lately I'm really liking having a little border around I think it um, just gives some definition I do feel like this one's a little bit skinnier at the top than it was at the bottom but that's okay we won't tell anyone just wanted a little little definition I think I didn't match up that corner very well actually maybe I didn't match up any of the corners maybe the um, the paper is a little bit long, but I can easily trim that. All right, last one. All right. That's all on there. I'm going to take my scissors. Actually, this one I'm going to reposition a little bit because it looks like it's not quite on the edge. But a couple places right here, like it feels like that didn't line up quite exactly right. So I'm just going to go from the back and trim off any. Oh, look, that one is completely off the edge. We're going to. We're going to fix that. It still then has a little bit of lip right there. All right, so now that's my, um, my background base. And this is going to go here. And I do think I'm going to have to use these little galaxy swirls because I like them. And I'm going to use the, oh, but you know, now I could cut this out of the middle underneath and have some of this galaxy paper left. I don't think I'm going to. I ought to. I ought to be frugal with my paper, but um, I'm not going to. But you could. You could use the, the frame technique, just kind of measure it out where you needed to cut and cut that and have that for something else. But I'm going to do this about a half an inch-ish from the top and the bottom. And then I'm going to do these little galaxy swirls. Uh, this layout is coming together really fast, which probably should scare me a little bit. 
Actually, I think I'm going to run it off the edge here on the inside, what's going to be the inside edge. And that way I can match it up right here with the piece that's going to go down this side. Let's see if I can get that to a, a piece that looks connected. Like, kind of like this, this piece right here. I don't really want to put the two ends together. I want it to make it like that. So I think I'm going to trim off this little swoop at the top and overlap this right there. Oh yeah, I'm liking that. And then this will go come down here and go off the, oh, just barely off the edge. All right, that worked. Trim that. Okay. All right. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. What do you guys think? Liking it. All right. Um, and then I am going to use um, Oh, I'll put the light speed ahead down here by Tron. And the two little astronauts, even though one's a boy and one's a girl. The two little astronauts. Of all the times I've used this paper pack, I have never used the astronauts. I wish I did use the cat. We're a cat family. I think I will. I'm going to use the cat. And then I'm going to put a few of these little other stars in here. One of the things I love about Disney is it does allow me to, um, to use some of this kid stuff. You know, everybody's a kid at Disney, especially me. I mean, I'm a kid everywhere, but um, everybody gets to be a kid at Disney. I think this one is the same color as the background paper, so I'll put it right there. And I have an orange and a yellow that can come up here. I don't think I'm going to use any of these plants. Oh, there's more stars over here. All right, and I think I'm going to just write People Mover, even though I've used People Mover. Hmm. So there used to be a thing that they said on here that was paging Mr. Morrow, Mr. Tom Morrow, your party from Jupiter has arrived. Please give them a ring. Uh, they took that out and I miss it so much. And that would be really fun. Paging Mr. Morrow. I think I'm going to use it. I'm going to find those orange stickers that I used last week. And I'm going to use lowercase paging Mr. Morrow in orange. Okay, I think I've got enough to write all that. I'm definitely going to use my zero centering ruler to position just to make sure it's going to fit. My ruler's getting a little bit icky. You can take like a alcohol wipe or something and clean that off. I probably need to do that. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to try and make it straight. I'm not going to use the ruler to make it straight. Um, you know, I do that sometimes, but I'm going to I'm going to do the dancing letters because I like that um, for this kind of floating in space. Obviously, you know, they wouldn't be straight. And that looks like a capital P, but it's not going to be. It's going to all be lowercase. Oh, I hope it's going to fit. Paging Mr. I'll put a little punctuation right there. Oh, 
W. But now I'm kind of tempted to use that little Saturn that has the smiley face on it because that would go with paging Mr. Morrow up here, even though it has the smiley face and I haven't liked having the smiley faces, but I think I'm going to use it. <laughs> Ugh. Because it goes with paging Mr. Morrow. Your party from Jupiter has arrived. Because that's going to fit right there. And then I'll have those other stars to go somewhere else. All right. So now we'll just stick these down. Aging. So much faster just to stick them down, too. And now I know they're going to fit because I... Um, Add them on the ruler. Mister, I'll put the period on right now. You know, it's funny. When I kind of started with this, I was not super excited. I thought, oh, this is going to be a short, boring video. But now that I put this darn planet with a smiley face on it, I love it. It's so fun. So fun. And I think I can put a star right here behind Mr. Morrow Jupiter and one up here. Ha! Oh, that's making me happy. And you know, isn't that kind of the thing when we're scrapbooking? Don't we want to just be happy to look at our layout and say, oh, I love this. This brings me joy. I don't even have to trace around it. It's it's looking a little, um, from far away on the video, it's looking a little busy, but I think it's fine. I'm not going to do anything. Um, I do need to journal. I think I'm just going to write. Um, we had time for one last ride on the people mover before the park closed. So let me write that. And I might even um, not, uh, not snip this out. This might just be an unedited video. I might get to just go straight across with. All right, um, we had time for one. Oh, I have to write something about Tron. Last ride on the people mover. Where we got to check out the progress on the new Tron ride. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, this is probably one of my fastest layouts ever, and it makes me happy. You know, I, I love, I think what, one of the things I love about Disney World, a lot of people, a lot of you who've watched my series have said, I've never been to Disney World. That is okay. You know, you don't have to go to Disney World to find things that bring you joy. But for me, going to Disney World brings me joy, but I think scrapbooking Disney pictures brings me even more joy. Like, I think I go to Disney to get the pictures that are fun so that I can use the little astronaut and the little planet with the with the smiley face. And now I'm like, oh, what other planets could I put? They put this little, this one down here. Uh, I don't think so. That's too much, even for me. I won't do that one. Um, but this one, this has brought me joy. This was a speedy, quick video. But I... I love it. I'm smiling from ear to ear looking at this layout, and I hope that um, you're liking it too. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, what number are we at? 23, layout number 23 in our Theme Park Thursday series. Um, one, this is our last ride in the Magic Kingdom on this rainy, rainy night. So I have one more layout. Oh no, I have two more layouts. I have, um, we did this one with the little photo pass, and then I have the one I've been looking forward to for so long, which is these rainy park pictures. So that will be in two weeks. Next week, I'll be back with another super fast layout um, with uh, these just these three little photo pass pictures. 
um, of the rainy night. So I hope you'll check in again next week. And thanks so much for watching and your comments and your likes. And of course, all those of you who are subscribed to my channel, I sure appreciate you. Thanks very much and happy scrapbooking.